Sweet by uh, Father Goldberg. I just, it was really cool. I was away, but it was really good to have him do that. And so uh, it's fun to have him around. Anyway. <coughs> Wanted to talk to you about what this is. This is called it. Oh. Sorry. A lot of voice. Oh, I mean, oh, since we're up for the Anyway. <coughs> This is uh, what they call a crash, and it's a. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. This is, this, is, this, is, this is new. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I have the disease that I have. Anyway, <coughs> I wanted to talk to you about how this is going to be a thing where this is going to be an ideal. Is it? Is it still not the same? It's not the same. <coughs> is it in my regular voice? Sorry about that. It's been a crazy year. This is a crash. You might have one of these in your home. This is a very old crash. It's been with St. Mark's for a very long time. It's made out of wood. It was given by some parishioners many years ago, but I wanted you to kind of see it because it's here in the church. And uh, this is actually one of, actually one of the more normal things we're doing. Uh, we are keeping the crash coming into the church during Advent. But this is a wonderful symbol of the manger where uh, Jesus was born. And one of the things about this crash I think that's important right now is this part. This is empty. This is the little manger, but there's no baby. And that's because what we're doing between now and Christmas Eve is we're getting ready. It's not time to have the baby Jesus yet and so we're in what's called Advent and Advent is a time where things begin to gather up and around expecting the birth of Jesus and so this is sort of a symbol of that we're gathering everything up and around we're making things ready get the tree ready getting the stocking set up getting everything kind of laid out and slowly kind of getting some presents and getting things ready to go because we expect this wonderful day to occur, Christmas Day, when the manger has the baby and all is made well in the world. That's what we say here. So right now, things might be crazy, but we're getting ready for things to be glorious. That's what we're doing all the time in your life. You're however old you are, and what we're doing right now with you between now and when you grow up to leave is we're getting you ready. That's what we're doing in Advent. We're just getting ready. So as we all get ready, we you know, have these in our houses. And we can all kind of put things out every now and again. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's Christmas Day. Okay, and by the way, this is the second Sunday in Advent. So that means there's two more. And then it's Christmas Day. All right, let's have a prayer, and then off to chapel you go. Dear God, thank you so much for the gift of this time, a time of waiting, but waiting with excitement, waiting with expectation. Bless us as we wait that we might have patience, but on the day that we might celebrate in a happy and wonderful way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, off to chapel you go. Bye. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Children's Chapel. We're so glad you decided to join us again this morning. The first thing we have to do is sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones 
to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Thank you so much for joining me in that song. Now that we have sang Jesus Loves Me, it's time to put our listening ears on and listen to our story. Today, we're going to read the story of creation. Do you like to make things? God likes to make things. It was God who made the world. Do you see the world? God said, come light, and the dark ran away. God said, that's good. He called the light day, and he called the dark night. Do you see the light coming in and the dark running away? Then God said, come sky, and the sky came. Do you see the sky? Next, God said, Come, dry land. Come. Up came the big hills. Up came the little hills. Down ran the water into God's place for it. God said, That's good. Do you guys see the land and the water? Then God said, Come, plants. Up grew the apple trees, up grew the corn, up grew the beans, up grew the green grass. And God said, that's good. Do you see all the green? Then he said, come sun, come moon, shine in the sky. He made the stars too. And God said, that's good. See the moon and the stars and the sun? If you look at out the moon right now, it's very bright outside. Come fish, come birds. God made the big fish. God made the little fish. God made the big birds. God made the little birds. God said, that's good. Do you see all the oceans and the birds and the fish and the octopus? Then he said, come animals, come cats, come God made the dogs and the cats, God made the horses, God made the lions, and God made the bears. <gasps> Do you see all the animals? Yeah, there's so many animals. God made the bunnies, God made the butterflies, God made the wiggly worms, God made them all. Do you see all the bunnies and the butterflies and the wiggly worms? God made all these things. Now let's make people. First God made a daddy. His name was Adam. See Adam? God brought his animals to Adam. Adam said, your name will be dog and your name will be cat. Your name will be horse and your name will be lion. He gave a name to every one of them. Do you see the name in the animals? Last of all, God made a beautiful mommy. God brought her to Adam, and Adam was very pleased. Adam said her name will be Eve. Yeah, do you see Adam and Eve? Then God looked at all he had made, day and night, sky and water, land and plants, sun and moon, shiny stars, fish and birds, animals and people. See all the things he's made? God was pleased with everything. God said, it's very good. And just like that, God looks at us and he says, we are very good. Thanks for reading that story with me. Bye. Thanks for reading that story. Now that we have sang our first song, we've read our story, it's time to say the Children's Chapel Creed. Please say with me.
I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe in his spirit too. Comes to tell me what to do. I believe that I can be kind and good, dear Lord, like thee. Amen. Now that we have sang our first song, read our story, said the Children's Chapel Creed, it's time to talk about our pals and our wows. Remember, a pow is something sad or something we're upset about that we want to pray about. And a wow is something happy or something good that we want to pray about. Like, Christmas is almost here. I'm so excited. So, while you talk to your mom, your dad, or your guardian about your pals and your wows, I'll wait right here. So remember to pause me, and then when you come back, we'll pray about your things. So I'll wait right here. with our Christmas decoration that we put up this year. We want it in a game of white elephant. Isn't it silly? <laughs> Maybe next week I'll show you my Christmas tree. Well, now that you guys have finished telling your mom, your dad, or your guardian about your pal or your wow, let's pray about those things together. Remember, when we pray, we take our hands, we fold them together, we close our eyes, and we bow our heads. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for all my friends who decided to join us this morning. We pray that you've heard all of our pals and our wows and will continue to guide us through this time. We thank you so much for the Advent season and Christmas that is coming, and we cannot wait, dear God. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Now that we have sang our first song, listened to our stories of the Children's Chapel Creed, and pray for our pals and our wows, it's time to do our final last thing, which is sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it around the whole wide world. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thanks for singing that song with me. You guys are always such beautiful singers. I'm so glad you guys decided to join us this morning, and I cannot wait to see you guys all again next week. Bye, guys. How was chapel? <coughs> Did you have a good time? Oh, I'm sorry. Is the voice thing happening? <coughs> Is the voice thing happening again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you have... <coughs> Did you have a good time? I'm sorry. It's still happening. <coughs> it... Stopped? Is it stopped? <laughs> Did you have a good time? Good. All right. Well, have a great week. Study hard. Keep up the faith. And I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>